Hey guys, what's going on? It's Coach Red from Paddle Synergy, and today's workout, we're going to be workout number five, and the only, ex uh, the only piece of equipment you're going to need today is your body and a resistance band. I recommend using a light to medium, nothing too heavy. However, if you want to have a heavier band, I'd recommend at least having a secondary band, which is a lighter band, just so that way you could just drop the heavier band and continue on with the workout. So today's workout, again, is going to be primarily on the band. So what it's going to comprise of is we got 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and then we're going to do the exercise again for another 30 seconds. And before we move on to the next exercise, uh, we will do a transition workout, being mountain climbers, uh, push-ups, etc. Okay? And don't worry. You'll have a plenty of time in the 15 seconds to figure out what the transition workout is going to be. Again, I'm only going to be doing one round. And if you happen to, and I would recommend um, when you get done with the first round before you get into the cool down, um, to go ahead and hit the timestamp to hit to do this round twice. Um, otherwise, if you just don't want to just do one round, this is going to be fun. The workout itself will be about 20 minutes, give or take. Okay, and uh, we'll just uh, go ahead and get started here shortly. A few things I really want you to make sure of that you pay attention to. Be mindful of your body, making sure that you don't put yourself at risk. If you find yourself at any time that you need to take a break, get yourself out of the workout. Go ahead and... Um, uh, get some water and just get yourself come back when you're ready. Also, if you haven't done so already, I recommend at least doing a four-minute warm-up, meaning you're just kind of getting your body moving, get your heart rate going, especially if you're older, if you're in the Masters, the Senior Masters, the Golden Masters category, or Senior A, Senior B, Senior C, if you're in the Dragon Boat uh, situation. Uh, it's really important that you Take the time to warm up properly before you execute any kind of workout, and it'll be a really good habit to start, especially if you already do so already before you go back onto the water when we get the chance to get cut cut loose and be able to get back and play on the water again. Um, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started here in a second. I've got about a minute. Um, before I actually get started, I want to make sure that I want to put out a shout out to Callie Paddler. If you're looking for any gear. You can see I'm rocking my Cali Paddler shorts, my Cali Paddler hat. Um, they're a business that's uh, designed for paddlers, made for paddlers, and about community as well. Check them out at calipaddler.com. And if you hit, uh, if you end up getting something, feel free to add in Paddle Synergy uh, on the discount code to get yourself a little bit of a discount. It's also be a helping, you know, another uh, business uh, in the paddling community. Um, Clark Graves, who's the owner, he's also an avid paddler, and he's been in the community for a long time. So, you know, support him and support his family and get some amazing gear, some hats, some clothes. I mean, all in all, my wife and I are pretty much wearing Cali Paddle gear every time we get on the water. So again, the description will be on uh, and the discount code um, to the website as well as the discount code will be on the description below. Again, it's calipaddler.com. Take a look at them. And again, the discount code will be Paddle Synergy. All right. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get ready to rock and roll. Let's do so first exercise. What you're going to do is you're going to get your hands one, out like so. Go. Shoulder width apart. We're just going to curl. Okay. We're going to curl. We're just going to work the curls here. <sighs> Again, make sure you're getting full range of motion. Full range of motion, meaning you're getting that arms up and down. And when you come up, I really want you to squeeze that upper back. Okay? Really squeeze that upper back and also bring in your belly button, your spine, like someone's going to punch you in the stomach. Three, okay? two, one, <sighs> okay, rest. Relax. Again, it's really important to, as we're actually incorporating the movement, that we're engaging the core, we're engaging the body, we're getting all these big muscles firing at the same time as we're working these little muscles. All right. We're going to do that exercise again, and then Three, we're going to go into the transition two, exercise. One. Here we go. Go. In the transition exercise, we're going to get down on the ground, and we're going to actually do – actually, we're not going to get down on the ground. We're going to stay, we're going to stay standing, and we're going to go ahead and right into burpees. Okay. Get that heart rate up. Get, get our bodies moving. Yeah. I hope everyone's being safe and healthy and working out, staying moving and staying moving. Oh, and my, I forgot. I almost played my music. i got to play my music here in a second. Three, two, one, okay. rest. Play a little music here for myself here. 
Okay. Okay. So we're going to do burpees without a push up. Okay. Again, quality movement. You don't have to do a lot. You Three, just got to keep your body moving. Two, Here we go. Get ready. One. Go. And let's go. <sighs> Now, I don't know if you can hear my music. It's fun. I'd really recommend that you play your own music. But if you can hear it, then great. Three, two. Okay, your next rest. exercise, you're going to get get that band again, and you're going to wrap it around and rest, cross your back like so. And we're going to work a press and squeeze back. Three, two, one, go. All right. I'm just turning down the volume a little bit. Okay. Sorry about that. And let's go ahead and go. So hands across like so, around the back. And you're going to press and squeeze that chest. Three, two, one, rest. So as a coach who coaches both outrigger, sup, and dragon boat, primarily dragon boat right now, uh, really want to focus on getting your full extension. Three, now, again, two, notice how my one, arms are. Go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get going. We're gonna go another 30 seconds. Here we go. Now, what I see is a pet peeve of mine as a coach seeing – Broken elbows, meaning top arm is broke like this and bottom end is straight like so. Notice how if you were to you shorten your movements if you're not getting full extension. If you shorten your movements, what you Three, do on where you're doing two, it when you have your hands out one, in front of you, rest. obviously it's going to impact your time in the water. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get down on the ground and we're going to do mountain climbers. Now, so we make sure you get yourself in a high plank position. Three, okay. two, one, go. And again, just talking about what I was just kind of touching base on why we want to have our hands straight out in front of us. Notice how as you're doing this exercise, your arms are completely out in front of you. Elbows are blocked, right? And you're, they're giving you a sense of stability or establishing stability. Same thing should be also be applicable when you put the blade in the water. Now... Three, two, Relax. one, rest. What we're going to do is your next exercise. We're going to go ahead and we're going to extend. We're going to come here straight up. We're going to squat down. Three, and we're going to go straight two, up. Okay? One. So it's basically go. an overhead press. Okay? Now, if I don't bring that arm all the way up, I shorten the stroke. Right? Now imagine a lot of top, a lot of paddlers' top arms are cranked up like this, right? Because why? Positive angle. Well, it's all well and good, but it ends up happening is you don't actually get your power until you eventually straighten Three, up that top arm. Two, one, or at least lock it rest. out, right? So, training the body, training that top hand, training and understanding the importance of that. We're gonna do the switch sides. Okay, so it's important to know. Three, Let's really two, get that one, squat down. Really go. get that arm straight out. All right. And this act of that top arm getting fully extended, it's like you setting the blade into the water. Three, two, one. Okay, rest. next exercise we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do high knees. So you just go ahead and start running in place. Just, just kind of jog in place. I really want you to bring your knees up above your belly button if you can, or at least above your waist. Okay, bring that Three, belly button. Use your core two, to lift your legs. One. Okay, go. here we go. Pump those arms. <laughs> Hold on. 
onto this mic. My shorts are too Three, big. I need to get a new pair. Two, <laughs> one, Kay. rest. I'm going to grab this band again. This time, what you're going to do, you're going to step. You're going to step on. You're going to get it together like so. Three, Kay. two, one, You're going to step down go. on it. And you're going to pull into it. Okay? So it's almost like you're getting that stretch. And you're going to come up. And I want you to do is I don't want you to bring that elbow. I want you to lift with your hips. Feel that tension. And then bring it up and then squeeze that upper back. <sighs> Using our body Three, to lift two, this band up. One, rest. Okay. Switch sides here. So that way you can at least see what I'm doing with my hips. Okay. Three. So, so, can see. Two, so I'm going to put my one, hands down. I'm going to grab go. both bands. Now, you don't have to grab both bands. You just grab one band. If that's two bands are too heavy. <laughs> those bands are too heavy. Then just go with that one band. Now, make sure you've got your foot planted squarely on that. So I recommend you put it in between your arch. Now, look at how I'm, I'm bringing my hips back. I'm maintaining connection, right? Whew. Three, two, What I'm not doing is I'm not pulling one, in. Well, rest. don't worry, we'll get a chance to do that soon. Next exercise, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do drop lunges, okay? Drop lunges like so. Three, two, Okay, here we go, gang. One, you ready? And go! go. As you do these drop lunges, load that foot, load that forward foot. Think of it that that's like you putting the blade in the water, and then you feel that pressure, then you go, then you explode, right? And then feel how your weight comes up. That is how the stroke you feel like it's a cyclic element. You feel your weight, you bring your weight back up, you lift it up off the off the seat so you can throw it forward again. Three, two, one. Woo, okay. Rest. Okay, we're gonna grab this band, it's just that one single band. We're gonna come up and we're gonna squeeze that upper back. Three, two, okay, arms out. One, and you're gonna squeeze go. and release. Squeeze and release. Now, break your elbows. Again, it's short. Arms straight out. Now you got your length. So at any time you feel. You're in a better position, for example, if you got to have your uh, a dragon boat paddler, for example, and you have a hard time getting past 80 strokes per minute. Three, two, one. It's likely because rest. one arm is broken than the other. You want to start here, and then you could dictate, okay, I'm done, I'm done, right? Everything out in front of you, keeping everything out in front of you, so Three. that way... Two, you could dictate the length one, at that point. Go. You can make it short. You can make it long. But if you start out short and then try to make it even shorter, you're in a bad spot. Starting in, in a position of stability first and foremost, and that where you have your hands out in front of you, just like with everything else, you could dictate then your length, the time in the water, and your stroke rate. Woo! And that's just not just for a dragon boat, Three, that's for everybody. Two. All one, right, relax. Rest. Okay, we're gonna get down on the ground. We're gonna do Spider Man's. So what that means is you're gonna get down in high plane position and you're gonna bring that foot all the way to your foot your hand and bring Three, it back down. Two. Okay. One. Go. <sighs> Looking for quality movement, not necessarily intensity. Now, if you could go faster and harder, all the while still maintain Three, good movement, then two, by all means, do so. One, rest. Okay, next exercise. You're going to go ahead, put one foot, just one on there, one on the other, and we're going to curl. Three, so like, two. So you're going to wrap one, it around like so, go. just like we're doing. We're going to turn it around, one one turn in, and then we're going to curl. So 
This is more of a hammer. Now at the same time, I want you to engage your glutes by getting your hips out, like so. And then hold that squeeze just for a second. Now, I want you to think anytime when we pull ourselves, Three, pull something like this, this two, is like the beginning of the stroke. One, this sensation rest. that you feel here at the highest point, you should feel it, imagine it happening when you first put the blade in the water, not in the back. And I'll talk about that here in a second. Three, now you certainly two, can one, keep go. pressure all the way through. But for very little return. Because at the fastest point of the, your watercraft is when you really, is right when you take the blade out of the water. Because you did the work up front. Now, if you keep that pressure all the way through, I'm not saying you're not be able to move the boat or the craft, you're just going to get tired a lot quicker. Three, two, guaranteed. one, rest. The idea is to manage fatigue. Okay. Next exercise, what we're going to do is we're going to do squat jumps. It's about understanding the movement, working to where you're at your most optimal state, Three, and two, being able to one, manage fatigue. Go. So that way, when you get called on for a power or a push, you have something in the tank to actually execute. Right? I can't tell you how many times when, when I was younger, well, still not a very experienced battler, but <laughs> yeah, ill-experienced paddler, maybe a second-year paddler. Three, two, <sighs> one. Get into that conversation rest. here in a second. First, next exercise. What are you gonna do? You're gonna hands over, getting have your hands out, straight out like this, and you're gonna. Pr oops, you're gonna just bring it down. Three, two, <sighs> bring one. it down. So it's Go. almost like the squeeze, but this time you're bringing it down. So like so. So as I was saying. When I was doing dragon boat or outrigger, so an outrigger gets the bump or trying to pass somebody up, steers me and call for a push, and I'm thinking, I don't have nothing left in the tank just because I've already been working at 100%. And my 100% obviously degrades over time. Three, Whew. two, one, <sighs> rest. And the same thing called for a finish or a power call in a dragon boat race. I didn't know what that meant. I was already going at 100%. Three, well, you two, can only go 100% for one, so long, right? Go. Here we go. Imagine if you're doing weights and you did your 100%, you had to lift your 100% max. Well, how many times can you do that? Me? Once. Here go my max, right? So the idea, gang, is understanding where you could put your power when and where, right? When and where. And then still be effective when you're Three, not at 100%. Okay. One. Next rest. exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to get down into a mountain. We're going to get in a high plane position and we're going to do shoulder taps. Three, Here we go. Two. One. Now I want the shoulder go. tap to be slow. Now when you go slow, I want you to squeeze that lat on that arm that's tapping the shoulder. Squeeze your lat. At the same time, try to make it so your hips don't move as much. Really tighten that core and rest on that state, that hand that's stabilizi stabilizing yourself on the floor. Again, that's your top hand on the T-handle. And then squeeze that Three, lat. Two, Woo! One. All right. right. Next exercise, gonna get this band again. You're gonna have this foot out here, and we're gonna lawn mower it. Okay, so again, if you want a little Three, bit more tension, two, just wrap it around a couple one, times. Go. What I want you to do is, I want you to think about pulling up with that shoulder, bringing that elbow out so you can see it. As you come down, really think about loading that glute here. So you're gonna load that glute, and then you're gonna load that lat. Load the glute, load the lat, or load the back. Woo! Three, two, one, okay. rest. Okay, we're gonna switch sides. 
three, two, one. Here we go. Go. <sighs> Really squeeze, tighten that core, and squeeze. Three, two, one. Okay, Rest. last exercise. This is gonna be the last transition exercise. We're gonna do burpees with a push up. Okay, burpees with a push up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Good job again, good job. Get ready for round two. Take a break, get some water after this. Oops, there goes my... <laughs> Three, two. <laughs> oh, one. technical difficulties. Rest. All right. All right. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. Catch your breath. <sighs> okay, that's the end of round one. Okay, so take yourself, Three, two, get yourself some water. One. Catch cool your breath. Down. Well done. And get yourself ready for round two. Go ahead and click on the timestamp below. With the uh, with round two, otherwise just sit tight, hang out. I'm gonna talk. Get ready to do the cool down. Whoo! Good job, guys. Okay, if you have already did the cool down, I'm sorry, did the round two. Here we go, ready for the cool down. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our hands out, open up that chest, palms to the sky or to the ceiling and really open up and squeeze that upper back and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. And relax. Okay, your next exercise you're gonna do, cool down, you're gonna go down, you're gonna reach down down the middle, you're gonna hands and you're gonna press down so that way you really feel those lats, feel that upper back stretch as you press down towards the ground. If you can, push down as far as you can till you feel your hamstrings. Ah, there you go. And relax. Go ahead and just let your hands, hands hang out for a little second here. Go ahead and wrap your, put your hands along your elbows and just rock side to side. And just let your hands hang and again just let it sway and as you sway one vertebrae at a time come up okay just breathe it in and out in and out in and out all right gang really great job continue on with your cool downs feel free to do what you need to do to stretch yourself out get yourself break your heart rate down if it doesn't haven't done so already uh, there will be another workout this Wednesday, okay? Um, so I want you to think about what is going to happen. So as far as content is concerned, um, I'll be putting up another video, uh, listening out, or at least on the description on the on the YouTube page, the, the content schedule. So you can definitely plan for workouts uh, for Monday and Wednesday. And then I'm going to be doing one stream a week this now from now on, one stream a week. Uh, most likely going to be on Thursdays. 
in the process there'll be other content videos like workout tips paddling tips if you have any questions if there's anything you would like to see anything you would want me to do by all means please do say so either on the comments below or shoot me a uh, text or message on Instagram or on Facebook and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out um, any way that I can again this is just my way of trying to help out the paddling community uh, put something out there I know there's other content creators out there other fitness folks out there doing the same so good on them kudos to them um, all in all we hope that at the end of the day that when this is all all done and said and over with when we get back on the water it's not going to be too much of an impact so in regards to oh man I haven't been on the water so again thank you so much for tuning in if you have any questions please let me know I'm also going to be putting out a list of recommended equipment um, that will also be on the description um, but that will also be on another video as well the equipment such as like a stability ball bosu ball um, etc these are things that will definitely as I work on when I create these other workouts we're going to start working towards getting um, more equipment involved and don't worry I'll be sure to list a link where you can purchase those as well and again coming back to it check out calipaddler.com discount code paddle synergy uh, help out a local business or another paddling business um, in these in this in these crazy times all right guys have a good one cheers